Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Barbara Forbes and you are tapped into living in between. And today I have another exciting video for you guys, but this time I'm doing something a little bit different. As you guys can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about some of the things I've learned in my 20s. So before we get into this video, if you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel so you can watch more videos like this. Anyway, let's get into this video. So to kick off this video, I'm going to break it down into different categories. So the categories that I'm going to be talking about is relationships, finances, career, family, and your social perspective of life in general. So those are the areas that I'm gonna be focusing on in this video. Okay, relationships. What I have found is, is that as I've gotten older, or in my 20s, it's just about figuring it out. It's, it's first of all, understanding what a relationship is, what type of relationship you wanna get into, and at the start of your 20s, it kinda of starts off with you just kinda of just, figuring it out like you you're not dating you may necessarily you may not necessarily be dating intentionally you're just dating maybe for the sake of just dating or you're staying in relationships with people that you really should not be staying in relationships with because you may not know your worth you may not know how a man is supposed to treat you and i think in your 20s you know you make mistakes you you end up dating people who may hurt you who may really break you and I think in your 20s, you, you're going to go through at least one heartbreak. I know I went through a really tough heartbreak in my 20s, you know. Um, but I feel like once you go through that, you then have an idea of what you like, what you don't want, what are your red flags, what you tolerate, what you're not willing to tolerate, and so on. An advice I'll give to anybody when, when they come into their 20s is... You're gonna make mistakes. You possibly are gonna get your heart broken, but that does not mean you're not gonna find the love of your life. So those are the things I would say about relationships. Okay, so I think one of probably the most popular things that people wanna know when it comes to their 20s is how is their career gonna look like? How is their professional life is gonna look like? Because as I went into my 20s, I just came to find out that um, there's a difference between doing something you love and doing something that just pays the bills and um, that is one of the most painful experiences you're gonna have because what you love may not necessarily pay the bills and also what does pay the bills may not necessarily bring you joy one of the things that's helped me in my 20s is learning to let go like to really let go of of jobs that are weighing me down, to really let go of jobs which are not fulfilling me, to really let go if that career in general is not for me. And that's one of the most painfulest things to do because you may have invested a lot of your time at a job and then one day you just decide it's not for you anymore. So as you go into your 20s, you are gonna change careers and the things that you study at university, you may not end up working in that field. I think 80% of the people I personally know are not working in the field that they studied at university or even at college and so on. One thing I'll definitely say is when it comes to your 20s, who you thought you were going to be in your 20s may not be the person that you actually end up becoming. You may end up going through different jobs, doing jobs you like, jobs you don't like. However, allow yourself to go through it allow yourself to experience different things allow yourself to to really figure out what you want to do because in your 20s it's all about figuring it out you know what i'm trying to say and eventually in your own time you will figure out what type of job you want to do how you want to do it there are a few people who end up doing exactly who they sit who who end up doing exactly what they intended to do from when they were young and these people are very successful at what they do that's what i was saying is allow yourself to figure it out allow yourself to um you know go through different experiences and also at the same time if you know what you want to do and that is truly what you want to do do your research properly do your thing but 
Okay, so one of the experiences that you're going to find to be very joyful, but yet very, very painful in your 20s is friendships. Let's get into this. From the, the, a joyful perspective about your 20s is that you learn that, you know, you can have a different category of friendships, you know, like, and also you have to accept people for who they are in your life. There's some people in your life, all of that is for enjoyment. And that's okay. That's your enjoyment, friend. And then there's some people that want to have serious conversation about business. And that's okay. That's your business, friend. So as you get older, you, you, you kind of start to see you have different friends for different things and you know when you're going through something who to go with who, who, who to go to sorry your best friendships are in your mid and later 20s because that is when you kind of understand yourself you kind of know what type of people you would want to have in your life and you kind of know who you want to let go of and um and i feel like that's the most the most fun aspect about my 20s now that i'm 29 it's like I meet people and I know straight away if they are worth me even, you know, um, investing in or not. Um, so definitely in your 20s, you're going to go through it. The people who you know now in your early 20s are not necessarily going to be the people that you're going to end up with in your late 20s and also in your 30s. Don't beat yourself up if, you know, people are constantly um, hurting you in your friendships. Just trust and believe as you get older with the experiences that you're having is going to make you a better person and then will put you in a position to pick better people as friends and also protect yourself as well. So those are the things I would say about friendships. Okay, now we're going to talk about money, finances. In your early 20s, depending on how you were brought up, some of us were brought up in homes where from, from very early on, our parents taught us about you know, money management and how to have a relationship with money. Whereas some of us, our parents may have not done that. In your early 20s, you may be a little bit more free with money in the sense that, you know, you spend things, you don't really think about where it's going. But as you get older into your 20s is because you you desire more things, you you are kind of forced to have a better relationship with money because you know that if you want to buy a house, you need to save, you need to have good credit. If you know you want to basically do all the things you wanted to do as a child, you know, you finally realize it, it all comes down to your relationship with money. So I would say don't be hard on yourself if you were in your early 20s and you were very like free with money and you were just spending it recklessly. Because as you get older, your relationship with money will get better you kind of figure out you know your spending habit you kind of figure out how to budget you kind of figure out how to you know you know structure your your, your financial life really and i would definitely advise if you're in your early 20s now is if you can start saving if you can start the process of having a better relationship with money you may not necessarily have a good relationship with money but as you get older that will definitely change Okay, I think one of the really important things to talk about as well about your 20s is about your family. You know, many of us have different family structures. Some of us come from single parent homes, some of us were adopted. One thing I definitely say about your 20s is, you know, your family structure is not going to be the same and that's okay. And you're, you're going to see the idea of family completely differently. You may have not wanted kids in your 20s, but then when you get older, you want children and um you know it it can be good and it can be bad Coming from a, an african pair, pair at home you know sometimes it's it's not always the most peaceful homes um you know things can be a bit toxic sometimes and i think sometimes you know you can see your family is going through things it doesn't necessarily mean you should just sit back and just watch I think for me, I'm all about if you see something, you don't like it, try to implement change, like really try to have the tough conversations. So the people you love um, can all can can be able to have good experiences together and really just show love and support with each other. So definitely in your 20s, you're going to your family structure is going to change 
you know, you may become closer with your family or you may become distant, but whichever direction the structure of your family goes, just always make sure that you're happy, that you're truly um, um, navigating in your familyhood um, the best way that brings you peace, brings others peace as well. And sometimes if it means cutting people off, so you, cutting family members off so you can have peace, that's okay. Let them go. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to carry dead weight. So definitely in your 20s, you're going to see major changes in your family. But it's life and it's okay. Okay, and the final thing I want to talk about is the impact of the media. Um, in your early 20s and in your later 20s. Now, when we are in our early 20s, you know, we're going to look to the media in terms of having an idea of how we should be as individuals. So we kind of look at celebrities, what they're wearing, how their hair looks like, and we kind of aspire to have those things. And when you're younger, you go through a lot of comparisons. You're constantly compa comparing your life to the media. But as you get older, myself as an example, I came to find out that after a while you start to realize it's all BS. You start to see celebrities as working people, as in like they are doing a job, but their job is just on TV. You start to understand the meaning of advertising and marketing. So you, you start to see their whole life is structured. You start to see that their whole life is, you know, put together by a large amount of team. And you start to see that, you know, everything is not as it seems like, you know, they're creating a perception, they're creating a brand or, uh, or, an, or an image for, for us as the consumers to consume. And all of those things allow you to then um, value yourself to know that, oh, I don't need to look like Kim Kardashian or Juju Hadid because I don't have a huge glam team. <laughs> and for those of you who are maybe still in your late 20s or in your early 20s and you're, you're struggling with um, the images that you see and you're comparing yourself with what you're seeing on social media. Because once you Google these things and you understand how things are socially constructed, it will give you, give you a deeper understanding that the grass is not greener on the other side. And number two, everything is not what it, what it seems to be. Because you can hold a camera and smile, and then as soon as the camera goes off, you're crying. Everything is perception. So once you understand perception, you're then able to give yourself grace. You're then able to allow yourself to navigate in this world um, fully, you know, really just navigate in, in this world, the, the whole of you without compromising yourself because you're trying to fit into a box or you're trying to fit into society's idea of how you should be or how you should look like or the type of life you should live. So that is what I would say. I have provided you guys a brief, you know, introduction of the things that I've learned in my 20s. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go and click on the subscribe button and subscribe. And um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you.